Hello, today we are on chapter four, part four of Pilates for Skiers. Check out my book on Amazon.com. We're going to start today with cat-cow stretch. So I'd like you to come onto your hands and knees. Line up your hands directly under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. You're going to come into a neutral spine, so you want your back flat and long. So you're going to go ahead and draw in through the abdominals. You're going to round your spine, bringing your head down and your tailbones under to create a round spine. And then you're going to go in the other direction with the head and the tailbone up towards the ceiling. And then exhale back in your cat. right from here into your child's pose. So go ahead and bring your glutes back towards your heels. Bring your forehead down towards the floor and extend your arms out. Everything should be relaxed, your head, your neck, your back. This is an excellent relaxation pose to do in between some challenging exercises such as planks. You're going to come back, and you're going to be back in that same position that you were in for your cat-cow stretch. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. This next one is called bird dog, and this is a great exercise for stabilizing. You're going to reach your right arm out, and your left leg out behind you. Reach with the fingers and the toes. Then you're going to bend the elbow and the knee in straight, and then extend. Exhale. When you pull in, we're not going to add a twist here. We're just going to move straight in and out. And you're going to do 10 on each side. Two, and one, and down. Good. Left arm, right leg reach out, lengthen, and then bend it in and out. And go ahead and go right back into your child's pose. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and we're going to do what's called the inchworm or the monkey walk. So I'm going to stand here on the floor just so you can see more of me. You still might not be able to see all of me, um, but just go ahead and listen. You're going to inhale your arms up straight overhead. You're going to exhale, you're going to roll down towards your feet, um, just like we did in chapter two. And then you're going to walk your hands out into a plank. Hold your plank. And then you're going to walk your hands back towards your feet, trying to keep your legs straight. Walk it out to your plank. And then back in. So this is a really great stretch on your hamstrings. It's also good for, obviously, your core because you're doing your plank. Good, and then we're going to roll it all the way up. Excellent. Okay, next is our plank. So back to the hands and knees position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Tucking the toes under, you're going to come directly into your plank. So in Pilates, we bring our feet all the way together. You're going to squeeze the inner thighs, the big toes, and the heels together. And you're going to hold. So you can hold anywhere from 30 seconds up to a minute to challenge yourself. Draw in through the core. Don't drop the hips or lift the hips up. And then after you do your plank, you can go back to your child's pose and stretch. Great. Next is the side plank. Okay. So for side plank, I'm going to show you some variations. Um, first is if you have any problems with your wrist, you're going to be down on your forearm with your knees bent. This is going to be your first modification. 
So you're just going to stack your hips. Next is you're going to come up to your hands. <clears throat> you're going to bring your top foot in front and your back foot behind for your side plank. Then you can extend the arm up and star and hold. And again, you're going to do this on both sides. So you'll do either your modified here or up in your side plank or you can come into your star. And you're going to hold that for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute on each side. Next is Superman. So you're going to lay on your stomach. You're going to extend your arms out in front and your legs behind in a straight line. Drop in through the abdominals and you're going to lift the arms, the legs, the chest at the same time. And you're going to try to lift the same height and then down. Ten of those, and then you're going to stretch again into your child's pose. The last one today we're going to do is the frog. So you're going to lay on your back. You're going to bring your hands behind your head. You're going to bring your legs into your tabletop with your heels together and your toes apart in a frog position. You're going to lift the head the chest and the shoulders, and then you're going to press the legs out. This is great for the abdominals and strengthening the hip flexors. And we're going to do 10 of these. So do five more. And four. Three. Two. And one. And then you're just going to stretch it out. Stretch out your stomach, your shoulders, and your legs. And then just bring your knees into your chest. Give it a little rock and a little roll. And that's it. We've got one more section for this chapter, and that'll be in our next YouTube video. Have a great day.